<clears throat> all right guys i'm back and today i'll be breaking down and explaining you guys the meaning of the ten commandments and what do they actually mean in two separate ways because it's in a way it's kind of two ways that is written like for different people so i'm gonna explain it so i'm gonna explain the first part that you see up on the screen right about now now the ten commandments it says, "Thou shalt not have any other gods before me." What does that mean? To, what 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 does that mean? It means that you it means that you should not serve no other god but Jesus. Period. Jesus to be your one and only God. Thou sh and number two, thou shalt not worship or get an even graven image, which means you should not give no no image of no image of a sign that you're wearing something or you know something something down that line that you represent another you know false prophet. See what I'm saying? And that's just evil. You should serve only Jesus and Jesus only because Jesus is a very jealous God. Number three, thou shalt not take the God's, thou shalt not take God's name in vain. Don't misuse God's, God's name, period, guys. You do not do that. If you did do that, I'm just saying, if you did, repent. All of these, all of these, but yeah, moving to four. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath day and pretty much just keep it holy, guys. That's pretty much what they're saying. Five, honor your honor your honor your father and your mother. Always be respectful to your parents, especially when you got good ones. And plus aside that, a disrespectful child, you know, they shall be cut, cut short, talks about that too. So yeah, always honor your father and mama. Number six, thou shalt not kill. Which means what? You shall not take no one's life. Period. Number eight, thou shalt not steal. Don't take from no one, guys, because you gotta think about things like if they if if someone would have actually took took something from you, how would you feel? Don't steal. Don't take. Number nine. Thou shalt not bear false witnesses. What that means is, is don't lie. Even if there is a false false witnesses, thou shalt not lie. And number ten. Thou shalt not convert. Thou shalt not convert. What does that mean? You should not want what others have. Now. I just explained to you guys what all of this means. And what is the true meaning for the Ten Commandments? God wrote the Ten Commandments because if you commit one of these, you God will not let you go unpunished. That pretty much pretty much what the Ten Commandments are for. You have to obey the Ten Commandments, guys. And if you did do one of these, you repent. Now I'm gonna move up to my own. I have like the Ten Commandments. In another way, it's written on my on my wall, and if I explain to you what what it means in a better version. So, hold on. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm on my wall. And this is the Ten Commandments I wrote on my wall. And see, this is the version that I wrote. Now, some people have the same one. Jesus is to be your one and only God. The meaning is here. Do not worship of do not worship evil evil of prophets and false gods. Number two, do not misuse God's name. The meaning. Do not say negative things about God or else punishment. Do not say anything about Jesus in a bad way or else what? Punishment. Number three, do not lie. Do not make Do not make something sound true and is it? Okay, it's three, four. Do not adore, do not adore or make items such as under the lake or upon the sky. Number four. Five. Remember the Sabbath day and keep you holy. You have to tell about a week to keep it all together and remember the gospel. Okay, number five. No, number six. I mean, do not steal. Do not. Do not take nothing that isn't belongs to you. Okay. Do not commit murder. Do not take no one's life. Keep your marriage promises. Do not break each other's hearts and you made a promise to a person. Number Okay. Number nine. Honor your mom and dad. Apply about this and you shall live a long, healthy life. That is true. You apply about this, you will live a long, healthy life. And number ten. The last one. Do not want what others have. Do not want the same destiny that others desire. Alright guys, that pretty much breaks down the Ten Commandments. And if you commit one of these, God will not let you go unpunished.
I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. And always, pray every day and keep God into your life and put him first. All right, y'all, got to go.